Hey guys, it's Guys, and today we're playing Evil Nut. This is a- What are you doing? Oh. Are you recording a video right now? It's not what it looks like. All right, that's it. No! No! Hey guys, it's John. Uh, today we're playing Evil Nun. This is a game that I previously played uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh no! <laughs> she hits you over the head with a sledgehammer. It was just called The Nun back then, but it was actually taken off of the Google Play Store because it was too similar to the Conjuring game about the nun or something like that. So they renamed it Evil Nun. They've updated a lot of it. And so I figured I would check it out again. If you don't remember what this game is about, it's about running away from an evil nun. So I was actually told by the developers that if I put in my own name, then something special will click, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna put in my name and see what happens. Continue. We're playing on normal, by the way. Last time we played on easy. She hears everything you do. Be aware, she can get anywhere. You must hurry to leave school. All right, let's do this. I have to leave this school. <laughs> you have to be good. Act critically, write critically, run critically, think critically. Just like me. That's cool. I like that little Easter egg. Nice and subtle. So this is already different. Let's take a look at the heavy book. Oh. The nun thinks only about the devil. Headphones of John Wolf. <laughs> I'm putting them on. What did they do? Okay, so let's go ahead and just go through the uh, trap door. We'll see what else is happening here. Oh wait, she might have heard that. Ooh, there's like a keypad over here. There she is. Damn, she's been wearing a corset lately, I guess. And I think she's got glasses on. Ooh. Oh, she's kind of scary. I can take her glasses. There was a little hand icon that came up and was like, you can take her glasses if you want. I should have taken them. What's this? Oh. Uh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Didn't realize. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. Need to take care of something. All right, I'm back. Just had to, felt like taking a shower, you know? All right, let's go. Drop that, she'll go that way. Does she reset the, the vents? I think she might. She might be a little smarter this time. How is this place structured now? Oh. Oh, wow, this is all walled off now. That's not cool. Oh no. I can't get in here. Oh! There she is. Damn it. Don't see me! Don't see me! Oh! <laughs> she just kind of ran against the door for a second. And she lost me. Where'd he go? He went to this room, and there's nothing in here but a closet, but I'm not gonna check it. I'm just gonna turn right back around. You know, I gotta say, it's really inconvenient that that is blocking my way to the tunnel right now, because that's what I usually exploit with these people. Oh no. Here I go. <laughs> I lost my headphones. No. All right. I got real tired of that grate being in the way of the vent, so I've decided to just start a new game on normal difficulty once again. 
And this time we're going to have a clear vent that we can exploit because that's the key to getting out of this first area as far as I can tell. Let's go. Think critically, everybody. Haha. <laughs> Let me get those headphones. Wait. All my face is on them. That's cool. Oh no! She's after me. Nothing in those drawers. Dropped it. Okay. Nothing, are you kidding me? Small cable. Do that. Is there anything over there? Crowbar. What was the crowbar for again? Oh, the wood. In the vent. In the restrooms in the other building that I need to get to still. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Dude. It sounds like she's like, right on the other side of this wall. But I can't tell if like, she's on this floor. Oh. I was about to say, or the next. Whatever. Here we go. Press the switch, that'll get her. Nothing there. Nothing in there that I can see. I want her to follow me in here. That's a good way to get rid of her. Really? Come on. I dropped a painting! You hate noise, don't you? You can hear, right? There she goes. There we go. I should open those cabinets at some point. Okay. Bottle of oil? Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Bottle of oil. That's a new item that I haven't seen before. Now, if I remember correctly... Right here. Okay, let's go. Getting back in the groove of things. Honestly, this is about as easy on normal as it is, or uh, on, on easy. The difficulty's not too different. I want her to come in here so I can vent juke her. She's a lot slower when she's crawling, obviously. Come on in. There we go. She just hit the crowbar. She's behind me. There she goes. Scooting along. And just hit that thing. Let's keep going. This is weird. I still need that locker code. But I'll come back for it. There's also that bottle of oil. Which, I'm gonna go for that at some point. I don't know what that does. There's nothing that I've seen that's like, oh, it's rusty. I need to use it, or whatever. Seems from that window you can see the gym. Thanks so much. Alright, we're assembling Satan. Or whatever. Uh, here we go, white blanket. This is the second piece. After this, we just need to get the scissors, cut down the mascot, and we got ourselves the third object. Uh, the definitive Bible. Not aware of this edition. I've heard of the NIV and the King James Version. Never heard of the definitive version. I'm not sure the Catholics use that either. So I guess you could say this game's a little unrealistic. Kind of dropped the ball on that one. Just kidding. It doesn't matter. It's a phone game. 
a game for your phone. So I think that this is actually an item we can use, but I don't know where to use it. The definitive Bible. You know, actually, I think there might be a place I can use it. There she goes again, ranting about knowing your own name. Say, say my name, tell me I'm nothing. It's a really bizarre monologue to have this evil nun go off on. You'd think she'd be saying something like, Hello, children. I can smell you. Or something like that, but instead she goes off on this thing about her name and... Please tell me I'm trash. <laughs> oh, don't come back this way. This is the problem with hiding in this game. Is It's hard to get her out of here. Because she sounds really close. Of course, she might just be downstairs. I'm not sure. But it's much easier to just kind of run around and knock things down, I think. I'm gonna go. If I die, so be it. Okay. I think she is downstairs. I'm gonna try something. Can I knock down these paintings? Yeah, I can. I'm gonna see if she goes straight for it. Oh, she did! She's got a little hop that she does. That's funny. I'm gonna see if I'm right about this Bible, though. This definitive Bible. Because we passed by this a few times. Heavy book. Yep, there's a little indent for it. Oh, cool. I think she's right behind me. We'll come back to this. We still need to get the locker code for what what's ever in here. Whatsoever is in there. Ooh, this is actually perfect. Get that bottle of oil. Oh, there she is. Wow, she didn't take the bait. I even made extra noise. Bottle of oil. Is there anything that's rusty or... She definitely heard that, right? I'll have to go see what's in there, but I don't trust her to not crawl through it. I don't think she's coming over here. All right, whatever. Oh, there's a closet in here. Dynamite? Close the closet. She gonna crawl in? <gasps> she definitely did. She definitely did. That was close. Well, I got dynamite, so don't mess with me. Can we blow her up? Really? That's kind of cool. Uh-oh. Um, takes her a minute to open doors, doesn't it? I don't know what to do with this dynamite, and I don't know what to do with the bottle of oil either. I'm gonna drop that back there, though. Uh, is there anything back here that I haven't opened? Because I think, I think I didn't open these. Doll, that's a new item. That's a new item. What to do with the doll, though? Oh, come on. Really? I still need to get the code for that. But I don't know where it is. Um, you know what? This seems like a good place to just chuck things. Laundry door, poster. Okay, I'm coming back to that. There's a dumbwaiter now. What could the dumbwaiter possibly be used for? Do I put the doll in there? Should I go in there? There's nothing in there. There's like a bed with a blood stain on it. But I'm pretty sure if I fall down, I die. Locker code. Found it. 
Uh oh. Don't lose the locker code right here, dude. Come on. There we go. Scary, dude. Scary. Let's go use this locker code. It's way back here, so... What's in here? I've used the locker code. Thanks for telling me this time. I got the scissors now. And we all know what the scissors go to. Where is she? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is she still up here? I've been making so much noise down there. Oh my god, she still is up here. That's exactly where I need to go. Okay. Whatever, check this out. Oh, there's something in there, I think. Come on. There we go. Got her. Been opening them, so she follows me. Oh my god, she didn't follow me? How did she not follow me? I was making all the noise in the world. Okay, whatever. What do you use the doll for? Okay, here we go. Window, there we go, drop the scissors. Now, just gotta get the wings. We'll be good to go, she's definitely going down there right now. What have I found? Bottle of oil, doll, explosive. And that's it so far. I don't understand! <laughs> I don't understand what the metallic blind is for. Or the... I'm not gonna buy crypto, I'm not an idiot. It's already peaked. If you didn't buy crypto a long time ago, there's no reason to start now, you hear? Drop those. There we go. Yeah, it was locked. Eagle's wings, we're gonna take this up. Complete the ritual. You can't hear them anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> Surprisingly angsty, evil nun. <laughs> Apparently, she came after me just now. I had no idea that that's where she was. Bye bye. <laughs> Still after me, I think. <laughs> what does the doll do? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. We'll just assemble Satan right now, and then she's gonna she's gonna worship it. I'm sorry. What? This trap door opens. Where does this go? Come on, I finished the visage. You should come worship it or something. That's what you did last time. Then I will be praying for 20 seconds. Ha, idiot. Okay. 
Safe key. Now is not the best time. Now is not the best time. She's praying. Six, six, seven, five. You're my only Lord. I open my heart to you. I can't. Now is not the best time. When is the best time? You don't like that. Like what? When could I? When else could I possibly do it? Okay, I think it gave me the thing here, though. The introduce code is correct. The door is opened. Okay, the safe is in there. Just FYI, we'll go in there in a second. I think she heard that, so I don't want her to. Come sprinting over right away. Requires a safe box key. Yeah. How do you get that, by the way? I thought <laughs> I thought she'd be busy just now. Now is not the best time. Is there anything I haven't checked yet? I feel like I've checked everywhere. Okay. Yeah, like I've I've looked in, in all these. Have I looked in here? I haven't. You know what? That might be it. I opened those drawers. I don't... Oh! Maybe I used the oil. The bottle of oil. Where'd I even leave that? I kind of forgot. Okay, let's use this exploit to get her to... Come on. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. There she goes. You run funny. Okay. Let me check this. The mechanism is... It, it's rusty! Where'd I put the bottle of oil? Oh, it's back here. Bottle of oil. Hide. We use this on the rusty mechanism, but then what? I don't understand what to do after that. Yeah, hi. You can't see in here? We're at eye level. Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh, she's stupid! That's great. <laughs> That's perfect. I thought she had left and so I was gonna leave. Even if she hadn't completely left, I was gonna juke her around the thing. But whatever. Use the oil on the gear system. The elevator should now work. The, the elevator will go up in 20 seconds. Um, okay. Come on up. Stupid idiot. <sighs> ah, itchy back. Yeah, go in there. Oh, what? I'm not there? Oh, no. The elevator will go up and... Lost children, we will help you build a weapon if you bring us the right pieces. What? You mean like dynamite? Object count, objects count in the elevator, one. <laughs> You're right there, just open the locker. What have you got to lose? It's an extra second of your time. Just check, just check. What's the big deal, just check? <laughs> Maybe I'm in here, <laughs> who knows? The devil is represented with the head of a goat and wings. I'm glad they added this stuff in here, it makes it a little easier. Now, I haven't- oh my god. I was about to say, I haven't looked in that room very much. Like, do I take the doll and put it in here? Objects count in the elevator. Two.
I think she was right behind me just now. Yeah, she was. Hi. Oh no! Is this a scary gambling game? What do you guys think? Gambling horror game? Wow, look at all the coins! Look at all the fake money I can win! Oh. What a joyous game. Jackpot! 400 million fake dollars! Whoa, 2 million free coins? 12,000 people rated it 5 stars. Did they now? What's this? Crank. I never found this before. So I started over. Hi there. Because I couldn't figure out what to do, and I think I just found where you're supposed to find. Crank plus doll plus explosive. See if that works. I don't know. The elevator will go up in 20 seconds. Now we'll find out. Objects count in the elevator one. So it went from three to one, so it combined all of them into something, some sort of weapon. Uh, she's running into the wall over here. <laughs> it's got a big like, hey, don't do this. How do you use this? Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> how do you use it? I need to know how to use this. It has a big, like, no over it. So you gave me a weapon I can't use? Thanks a lot. Now I can use it. Look, now it's got a... it doesn't have that thing on it. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she just stared at it! So what? Can I get the key now? Um... It says she's out for 60 seconds. But like, what'd I get? She's just out? I thought maybe I could get the safe key off of her. What's the point? Okay, I'll use this opportunity to, uh, check the stalls. I'm sorry, but if I couldn't get the safe key off of her there, and I couldn't get it off of her while she was praying, then I don't understand when I could get it. Oh, hi. Did you just- <laughs> Did you just decide to crawl around in the vents, or...? Anyway, by the way, when I exploded her, nothing happened. Like, she didn't drop the safe key or anything. I don't know. Nothing's up here. I feel like I've checked in here like 800 times. Let's have fun. That's really funny. I'm sorry, but that's- that's funny. Okay. 
Well, there's the crank and the doll. Where'd she go? She's just gone. Oh, brother, dude. Can I pick up her sledgehammer? No, doesn't look like it. When we got rid of her for 60 seconds, I still can't open the laundry door. Oh my god. I found the locker code. I don't know where she is, but she can suck it. Let's go. Let's go. I found it. It was on the window seal. Ah! Window seal. On the window sill is where it was. Finally got the scissors. Golly, are you kidding me? I think she's bugged out, man. She's running against something. All right, there we go. Completed the statue. Oh my God. Oh no. What are you doing? She's jogging in the sink. Oh, and the only way I can get her to get her out is to get smashed in the face by her, right? <laughs> That's annoying. Covet fashion. I covet all of those things. All those clothes and all those makeups. I covet them. Okay, where'd I blow her up? I blew her up around here. Oh my god, that's it. It's back there. It's in between the locker and the wall. How am I supposed to get to it? Yeah, that was you. That was you hitting the crowbar. <laughs> that was you walking over it. Look, she just, what was that? Was it me? Yes, it was. Please leave. I need to crouch down and see if I can get this freaking safe key. Oh my God. That's it right there. Oh my God, I got it. You had to have like pixel perfect <laughs> aim with that thing. Please give me this. Master key. Come on. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. I'm ready to be done. Come on, come on. I dropped the picture. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, better get me. Yes, very good. Come on, come on. You're so close. You can do it. Here we go. This is it, this is it. Please do it. There's an actual ending now. There's an actual ending. Oh, it's just that easy. You have left the school. Congratulations, you managed to get out of school. If you like the game, you can make a small donation to contribute to its development. You can buy a coffee, a sandwich, or a pizza. Aw, that's kind of neat, actually. That's a neat way to phrase it. All right. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I've done my part. <laughs> How many hours did I play this stupid thing today? It's not stupid. I, I do think it's I do think it's better now than it was before. Um, I'm trying to figure out the new things that were in this version of the nun, now called Evil Nun. So I like the addition of the explosive doll with the dynamite and the crank. That was neat. Um, of course, the John Easter egg was pretty cool too. The oil was nice to get the elevator working. Um, I mean, I like, I like more inventory puzzles and I think that they did a good job of adding to it so that it's more granny-like 
in terms of its complexity. I like the new layout of the school. I think it's way better than the old one. There's more hallways. It feels like I have to be more tactical this time. And that's not just because I played it on a higher difficulty in this video. You know, I think it lends itself better to um, faking her out and dropping things to distract her. You can have little tactics that you use. And in the old version, it was a lot of open space and you could just kind of outrun her or avoid her completely. With making it more claustrophobic in close quarters, I think it improves the gameplay a bit. I'm still mad about the safe key in between the locker and wall situation, but I will say the exploding doll is hilarious. I'm glad that they didn't just copy paste a shotgun or a bow and arrow or a crossbow or something from, from Granny. And it has its own unique weapon that's much more difficult to use as well. And that's how a weapon should be in these type of games, in my opinion, is, you know, you get you get all the pieces, you assemble them together, and then you have to use it a certain way. It's not just point and shoot, reuse the same tranquilizer darts over and over again. This actually had some strategy to it. And I appreciate that about it. So, you know, all in all, an improved version. As far as further improvements, you know, honestly, my mind's kind of garbage at the moment after playing this for so long. I mean, more puzzles are always welcome. And I have to say, some of the items are a little hard to see. One of the reasons why Granny is such a success is because the items are hard to miss. It's stuff like a big green watermelon or a, you know, blue screwdriver, right? And it's not only the glints, but they don't blend into the background very much. This game has a lot of browns and grays that kind of blend into the background a little too much. Things like the bottle of oil stick out, but it would help when you're searching for them not to feel like you're pixel hunting. Like I felt like that with the locker code on the windowsill. That was, I was about to quit. I was like, I don't know where this thing is. Or the crank, it's a very small item and it's very gray. And this is a very gray game with all the lockers and the walls and everything. I think the game could stand to benefit from more brightly colored or otherwise more noticeable items because the fun in this game is from figuring out the puzzles and using them while you're being chased by an evil nun, right? It's not so much looking for the items and feeling like you've scoured the entire place and you have no idea where the thing could be. That kind of takes away the fun a bit, but I think if those issues are shored up and and the game continues to be updated and expanded, it it could be it could be a good one. So you know what? Yeah, not bad. I said it. Not bad. I did get really frustrated, but anyway, let me know what you guys thought about Evil Nun in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically. <laughs>